guys, Fawn Force here, back with another video. Sorry I took another kind of break, not as long as my first one, but y you know, you know, you know the deal. So, um, I do have some more videos coming out for you guys, but today I'm here to talk about, um, the highlight of my entire life, which was the day I ruined, I ruined a, wedding. a wedding. I have to pee real quick, I'll be right back. My mom's best friend was having a wedding and it was just, just this big, giant, fancy, expensive wedding and I have never been to a wedding before other than my parents' wedding when I was like a newborn child. This was my first big, fat wedding and there's one thing that I have to do at this wedding. I have to catch the bouquet and I had this in my mind throughout the entire wedding like, I have to catch this bouquet if I don't catch this bouquet I might as well just throw myself off a cliff because I won't be accomplishing my dreams and it wasn't because you know the the thing where if you catch the bouquet then you get to like whatever you you understand like that you if you catch the bouquet you get to marry the some guy that you like at the wedding or whatever I don't know the exact tradition, but I'm pretty sure that's what it entails. So, throughout this whole wedding, I was like, yeah, I'm catching it. I don't care what you guys say. I'm catching the freaking bouquet. And it was this beautiful bouquet. It was like these red, like, lilies. They were so big and beautiful. I, was, I just had to catch this bouquet, okay? It was, it was hyped up. So, the time comes. We are done getting ready. We're done getting our makeup done. Everything has been prepared. We go through with the wedding. It's a beautiful service. Everybody's crying, including me, which is rare because I don't really cry at anything. And now it's time for the main event, the reception. So we get to the reception and it's beautiful. It's like this beautiful ballroom with like these chandeliers and these tables with like this, these crazy decorations on. It's just a beautiful display. And we, you know, we get through with the pleasantries and whatnot, dinner and the first dance and whatever. And finally, it's time to throw the bouquet. And at the time, I did not know this, but my mother and her best friend were going to rig this wedding. They were going to rig this bouquet throwing. They had a friend named, we're going to call her Jenny, and she had a boyfriend at the wedding who was rumored that he was going to propose to her soon. So my mom's friend was trying to get the bouquet in her line so that she could catch it and her boyfriend would propose to her. And I didn't know about this. So I was like, I don't care who gets in my way. I will push a fool if they get in my way because I am catching this bouquet. She throws the bouquet. It's an epic moment. There's this girl in front of me and she's closer to the bouquet than me. She thought she had a chance. She thought that she could catch that bouquet. She really did think that she could outshine me. She really tried it. I ran up there and leaped in the air and pushed this girl out of the way simultaneously. And I clutched the, the petals and the, the, the top of this glorious bouquet. And once I realized that I caught it, I felt my body elevate. Like my soul had left. Like I had accomplished all that I was meant to accomplish as a human being on this planet. I had done the unthinkable. I caught the bouquet and then the bride comes up to me and she's like oh my gosh I can't believe you actually caught it wow all this fake crap because she didn't even want me to catch it so she turns me around to face this this crowd of people who are watching me nobody clapped for me okay because I was 14 so I looked like I was still in third grade and there was about 150 people there I was standing in front of 
who just who just had this utter disdain for a 14 year old who caught a bouquet at a wedding. I'm like, if you don't want me to catch the bouquet, don't tell all the women to get up and try to catch it because if you thought I wasn't about to try to catch the bouquet, you are dead wrong, sir. Everybody just stood there staring at me like I was a crazy person. And you know what? I was proud of that. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you guys this time. Um, I'm gonna- I have some other videos that I pre-recorded, but I haven't finished editing because I'm lazy. But, um, I'll try to get that out to you guys. While you're at it, uh, go ahead and check out, um, my friend's channel, um, uh, we're working together, kind of. Uh, if you guys could go check his channel out, that'd be great. And, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye!